The Soviets deemed religion an enemy of their communist doctrine. Tens of thousands of Orthodox churches were closed or destroyed across the Soviet Union after the 1917 revolution. In the region of Simbursk there were around 700 churches. In the 1950s there were only 18 left. And later there were even less. In Olyanovsk itself, only four of 30 churches were saved. The communist regime used the city as a symbol of its anti-religious campaign. As our city is Lenin's homeland, the goal was for it to become the city of triumphant atheism. It was only after the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 that religion could re-emerge in Russian towns. That was the year Father Alexei's church opened. Initially, in the 1990s, the authorities were suspicious and did not even know how to react when faced with priests. Many officials had never seen priests before and did not know how to talk or behave around them. But little by little, communication improved between the two and the barrier was overcome. Evgen V. Lityakov has been a communist activist in Ulyanovsk since the 1970s. He says that the tightening relationship between the Orthodox Church and the authorities in recent years is a concern. Today there's an attempt in our country, perhaps not violent, but certainly intrusive, to force the Church into the public conscience and Russian social life. In an ironic twist of fate, the birthplace of the father of the Russian Revolution today boasts both the world's largest Lenin Museum and more churches than there were before 1917.